is there an appropriate method for analysis that we should be looking at to, to really get a good understanding of, of fiber and the fiber types? Yeah, and that's obviously been the million dollar question for the past yeah. couple of years, especially in the U.S. You know, obviously our, our feed labels in the U.S. are based on crude fiber or have to depict crude fiber levels. We've moved a little bit past that in, in the non-ruminant space to go to the NDF-ADF scheme. You know, we can take it one level beyond that in terms of complexity and go to our, you know, soluble fiber, insoluble fiber, lignin, add that up and get our TDF. Obviously, from a lab analysis perspective, we don't have the have the time or budgets as commercial nutritionists to send a lot of feed samples off to the lab to have TDF done. You know, but that was one of my frustrations when I was in the commercial swine industry, feeding hogs real time. You'd send an ingredient off for analysis. Well, by the time you got the results back, the ingredient was already gone. So that's where I think some of these tools such as NIR are becoming very powerful now to be able to come in and do more real-time analysis. You know not only in a shorter time period, but we can run more samples in a day because one person can run a heck of a lot of samples on an NIR in a day versus wet lab analysis.